we're here in Copenhagen, Denmark for UDSR. I'm here with Kai Eilema. Yeah. And you're with uh, Ubuntu Studio. Mm. For those who don't know what Ubuntu Studio is, could you give us a rundown yeah, it's, of that? Uh, it's a flavor of uh, Ubuntu. Uh, bas it's based on Ubuntu with uh, the XFC desktop, which is the same as uh, Xubuntu uses. And actually, we, we imported uh, Xubuntu uh, desktop to uh, and settings to Ubuntu Studio. But uh, what we mainly uh, are focused on is, uh, of course, uh, multimedia creation. So uh, for us, uh, the, the important thing is that you can use uh, Ubuntu Studio for uh, uh, recording music, uh, producing music, uh, producing graphic art, um, uh, publishing books, uh, uh, anything uh, really that uh, you can do on a computer for multimedia. So that's uh, what we are trying to achieve. So you're making it easier to have the uh, multimedia type stuff on Linux? Yeah, because yeah. historically that's been a little bit difficult. Um, how do you see you sh shaping that future? Well, we don't have uh, infinite resources, so uh, we are uh, uh, the, uh, we have quite a small team, so we can't do everything. But uh, we do have, uh, we, see, we see where the problems are. Uh, we can't solve them all right now, but uh, we're trying to uh, grow the developer team, uh, trying to get more people to join in, and uh, I think uh, there's a good chance that we can uh, really make not only Ubuntu Studio, but other uh, Linux uh, distros uh, a lot better for uh, multimedia. I know I sat through um, a session I think about a year and a half ago, and it was presented by one of the Red Hat folks who really um, enjoys using Ubuntu Studio. Mm -hmm. What other distributions do you see coming on board to say, hey, we, we're interested in this and, and we want to we uh, help you with it? Well, uh, one problem uh, might be that uh, uh, right now uh, there are a lot of different distros uh, out there and everybody's doing their own thing. Uh, or in a way, everybody's doing the same thing, but just with uh, different... Uh, um, you know, different desktops and uh, things like that. But uh, so uh, it, it would be good for everybody to join forces. But in a way, we do. It's just uh, not very direct o always. That's one thing we'd like to uh, change uh, a bit. Uh, that uh, there would be a, a better communication between all the uh, different uh, areas: uh, Debian, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Studio as well as uh, the whole uh, Linux uh, multimedia community. Stefano Zaccarilli was at a conference I was at um, a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And one of the slides that he had up said um, derivative distributions and their flavors and their what follows them are game changers. How do you see Ubuntu Studio changing the game as far as multimedia and Linux is concerned? Well, if... Uh if we can make it really easy and really, uh, 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 I mean, really easy for people to uh, create multimedia on uh, uh, Ubuntu Studio, then that will, of course, serve as an example on uh, how to do that on other distros as well. And I, I can see uh, us uh, doing something that will be become uh, standard even on Ubuntu or uh, Fedora or other um, big mainstream distros. So. Uh, I see uh, th that is one part that I see us playing is that uh, we are uh, developing this one little area of uh, uh, the Linux uh, community and uh, yeah so uh, when it works well I think it will be uh, adop adopted by other distros as well. So when people who want to get involved and, and help be that game changer with Ubuntu Studio, how do they, where can they go to, to help you guys out? How can they get involved? Well, uh, the best place to go is, of course, uh, our homepage, uh, ubuntustudio.org. And uh, there you can find uh, information of uh, IRC channels, uh, mail uh, lists, forums, uh, etc., documentation, and so on. So, uh, yeah. What is your greatest need for your project right now? Uh, really just uh, more people getting involved, uh, dedicated people uh, specifically, but uh, all kinds of uh, people. Uh, there's uh, room to expand in all, all different areas. We don't need uh, only software developers, we need all kinds of people. 
Well, as I mentioned, uh, um, and I think you uh, probably saw the earlier interview with uh, Zubin too, um, and everybody does come from all over the world to UDS. Can you tell a little bit about where you're from and your history with Ubuntu and how you wound up with Ubuntu Studio? Mm. Uh, I'm, uh, I live in Sweden, but uh, just like the Ubuntu lead, uh, I'm uh, also from Finland. Uh, and uh, my, the way I got involved was uh, really just uh, uh, solving problems. Uh, one, led, uh, one thing led to another. I got in contact with the uh, Ubuntu Studio development team. And uh, yeah, if, you, if you're the kind of person who likes to solve problems, uh, eventually you'll uh, find yourself uh, in the middle of it all. Well, thank you so much for taking time to sit down with me here at UDS-R in Copenhagen and look forward to seeing what you guys do in 1304 and beyond and hope to see you at the next UDS. Thanks.